Hello guys, Namaste. Welcome back to another episode of Aroma Artisans. Today we talk about a raw material called ISOI Super. And as the previous video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to screen record my notes and put it up on screen here so that uh, you have a better understanding of what I'm trying to say because sometimes I believe that diagrams help. If not diagrams, you can always pause and read my notes to probably just understand it a little better in case if that helps you. So let's start recording. And uh, yeah, it's recording. So today we're talking about ISOE Super. ISOE Super is a synthetic raw material used in perfumery. It is the most successful aroma chemical that has been manufactured all the way in 1970 by IFF. And um, I personally believe that every perfumer or fragrance manufacturer is using uh, ISOE supers in ISOE super in their formulations uh, because it's just a workhorse. It uh, helps a fragrance in multiple ways and hence it is the most successful aroma chemical. Uh, it comes in various different names because uh, multiple manufacturers make the same product but obviously cannot market it with the same name and obviously trademarks also come into pictures and hence there are so many names to ISOE Super like ISOE Super, Emberique Super, Timber Silk, Isogama Super is the one uh, that uh, Molecular One is basically made out of. Um, this is a captive um, and multiple names it goes on and hamber um, one of the most important uh, names to understand is amber keto, ambergris ketone uh, the reason why it's called ambergris ketone is because in a lot of ways it kind of mimics the performance of ambergris and the other uh, common name for it is patchouli ethanol. There was an interesting statement made by one of the uh, bloggers. ISOE super is to perfumery, same as monosodium glutamate is to Asian food. MSG is the magic salt that a lot of Asian cuisines use to make food much tastier, much nicer. And ISOE super in the same way is for perfumery. You add ISOE Super to your formulations and it makes it just a little more better, just a little more refined, that it makes it so much more nicer that you will always have it in your mind the next time you are working on something that, you know, I should put ISOE Super and check what happens. So that's how it is. And we uh, we wonder why so many names for ISOE Super. Obviously because there are different companies that make it. There are different uh, percentages of gamma isomers that is involved in the raw material itself. And obviously the first question that you'll have is what the hell is gamma isomers. Uh, I shall discuss about gamma isomers in some time. Uh, giving you an example of the different names and um, gamma isomers percentages like when IFF launched it for the first time they named it ISOI Super and they had around 8% gamma isomers. 8% is pretty good because uh, further ahead you'll get to know uh, why it is so important and how 8% also is good. Then when IFF uh, figured out that gamma isomer is the one which is actually uh, the main backbone they amped it up to 15 percent they did their own research and development and um, they made another molecule with higher percentage or higher concentration of gamma isomers and they called it timber silk obviously timber silk does not smell exactly the same as isoe super but they perform in similar ways they have a very slight difference in scent profile but uh, Again, it does wonders to the fragrance. And again, timber silk itself is from IFF. Now, uh, as I mentioned before, molecule O1. 
this is the perfumer behind molecule or when is Geza shown he has the exclusive rights to use this material called ISO gamma super which has 18 percent 18 percent of gamma isomers and why I am mentioning 18 percent twice is because that's quite a lot it is it's very potent compared to 8%. It's more than 100% of 8%. And uh, similarly, different names. For example, Orbitone is what Tagasako has. I don't know how many percent it has. But yeah, different names, as I mentioned before here, tons and tons of different names for ISOE Super. Like uh, we also at Aroma Artisans have two different ISOE Supers. Uh, the first one is ISO G13 Super. Obviously, like the name says, the gamma percentage is at 13%. And this 13% gamma isomer is uh, very helpful in uh, boosting the performance of citrus-based frags. A lot of uh, uh, members of the fragrance community have used Rumor. So this ISO G13 Super has been launched under the name Rumor. A lot of them have used rumor and have mentioned to me that it has uh, pushed performances of their lesser performing frags more. And uh, after that, yeah, uh, talking about ISO G13 Super, this is um, a particular version of ISO E Super which is uh, made in Europe and uh, we call it ISO G13 Super but it's technically ISO E Super and we have a new launch which I shall mention at the end of the video which is very exciting so stay till the end you will know what it is about now going next what to understand more about ISO E Super we need to first know what is the gamma isomer to understand gamma isomer, now we need to understand these few words GLC, GSC, GC and GCMS. Technically, when anyone is saying any one of these four things, they are talking about gas chromatography in general. Gas chromatography. I'm sure if you've been using perfumes for a long time or you've been studying about it, you have come across this word. And to make gas chromatography a little more simple. I have tried to make a few diagrams uh, to uh, just mention to you the basics of how I perceive gas chromatography works. So you have a fragrance or a fragrance oil in this bottle and you have this machine which is called the GCMS machine. You put in the uh, oil and it gives out a graph like this. So the graph tells us the raw materials used in this fragrance oil. And uh, so using this graph, you identify the raw materials used and you mix it and match it and you get very close to the original. This is technically used for uh, reconstructing a particular formulation or uh, what do they call it is uh, reverse engineering a particular formulation many people find it unethical many people find it uh, illegal but that's a totally different uh, discussion we shall keep that maybe for some other video but this is a particular technology that is being used now GC, gas chromatography, gives a graph where you get this view and it says you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. These materials have been used and these peaks tell you probably how much has been used. And um, you mix and match these materials and voila, there you go. You have reverse engineered one of the favorite fragrances that you have. But just GC, gas chromatography, has one small issue. That issue is, for example, if it's A, B, C, D, E, F, and let's say this is X, 
and this is let's say m this this and this seem very similar that is c d and x seem very similar there are high chances that you might the machine might say this is a c this is also a c and this is also a c or maybe the next time the machine says this is a d this is a d and this is also a d maybe somewhere else they might say this is x this is x and this is also x so you lose out on the accuracy of the formulation and there you get gcms ms stands for mass spectrometry just to give a very simple example what i have done is i have created this attendance sheet yeah we have avijay dada we have a person called chotu he is very short we have pranav dada we have keshav dada and we have me here kapil that will be hidden for a minute now in a classroom the teacher just looks uh, makes everyone stand up and just looks at the height and says okay 5 uh, feet avijay is here okay 3 feet chotu is here okay 6 feet pranav is here but now what happens is keshav dada and me both of them we are let's assume 5 feet tall now she, the teacher sees 5 feet she is not able to understand whether it is keshav or kapil so now confusion how to do they figure out that kapil is more fat he is heavier than keshav so here is where mass spectrometry comes into picture you see the height and the weight so now we come back here and here we say this is the height is this same but here the weight maybe this is weighs 1 this weighs 3 and this weighs maybe 16 so then you have a better understanding of height and weight so you have two variables to catch who is who here if you see a fat 5 feet 5% it's kapil if you see a thin 5 feet 5% it's keshav that's how i perceive gas chromatography with mass spectrometry gcms is easier to say works now once we have this figured out i'll show you this is the glc profile of isoe super now what's happened is Uh, someone has put in like a sample of isoe super in that fancy machine of gcms and has got this particular graph here we see that we have this particular b and this small little g here it's quite a big of difference this is b and this much is g so we will assume that b is more powerful or the more dominant material but sadly it's not and here is where uh, we have something called the odor threshold that comes into picture ah i was supposed to do it in here so this is the gcms that i had in mind this is b and this is g now the odor the odor threshold says that b can be smelled in air if you have approximately 500 nanograms per liter of air so 500 nanograms is quite less it's here zero followed by 11 zeros and one is what a nanogram is so 500 nanograms of the b isomer okay isomers first is they are the component that the ketones so isoe super is made of certain components those components are called isomers those isomers range from a to h a b c d e f g h so b and h uh, b and g are the ones that the scientists have successfully been able to isolate and work on now what happens is they thought b is the one which is going to be amazing and they worked on it but on the other hand when they worked on g they figured out that 5 picograms of iso uh, of the isomer g picograms is 
even more crazy. 0 followed by 14 zeros and 1 is a picogram. 5 picograms of the G isomer, isomer G, gamma, is enough for you to be able to smell it in the air. And that's the ordered threshold. How much is just enough of that particular material in the air, in one liter of air, that you can detect it, your nose can detect it, or maybe the machine can detect it. Which here means that the gamma isomer is 100,000 times more stronger than the beta isomer, B isomer, or as it's easier to say B and G. And hence, everyone wanted to work on the gamma isomer here because that's a more powerful isomer or the uh, constituent of iso -E super and that is where now you know that the more gamma isomer in a particular iso -E super the more easier you will be able to smell it so iso -E super at 8% and I saw gamma super at 18%, for sure you will be able to smell 18% much more easily compared to 8%. I think I've told this multiple times. And you can find this on this particular website, media.alert.com, where they mention that, you know, uh, uh, the difficulties in separation of purification and 500 uh, nanograms per liter of air and 5 picograms of air. You, uh, this whole PDF is there in case you want to read more about it. You can go to media or you can just search for ISOE Super and mention media.alert.com and you will get this information. <sighs> now coming to what does ISOE Super do? Very simple thing. It does a lot of things. Uh, it increases projection, it increases longevity, it, increases, it makes the blend quality better, it boosts the singular notes as such. This is another very interesting statement where it makes them smell more like themselves. It makes a particular raw material smell more like itself. I hope that makes sense, but it makes sense to me and it's a very interesting statement. Pheromones, you must be wondering why is this guy Kapil always talking about pheromones? In the previous video also he mentioned about Hedion and he's talking that it has pheromones. So the first time Geza shown uh, mentioned about ISOE Super in interview, he mentioned about uh, him giving a sample of uh, Molecule 01 or ISO Gamma Super to his friend and his friend got a lot of attention from women. And uh, they were in shock. But then Geza Shon has mentioned clearly in the interview no uh, pheromones like qualities have been uh, found in the lab. But it is still a beautiful scent that will catch the attention of people. Now, again, I have mentioned it increases so many uh, qualities of a per, per particular uh, fragrance, but it all is based on the product that is being used. For example, if you're using heavy, dense uh, molecules in your or heavy, dense materials that don't project, then ISOE Super helps them in projecting. And if you're using some very fresh materials that project like crazy but don't last, ISOE Super helps them last a little more and similarly it it works in different ways so it's as i called hedion also iso e super is also a work horse it works it just works now let's say let's talk about the iso e super i have used iso e super i have uh, seen that it helps increase the quality of the blend I have also noticed that it helps in projection and it has a very slight woody smell to it. It's, 
it's I think a little cedar wood type of smell. On the other hand, if someone is using timber silk or if I am using timber silk, to my nose, it's a very dry material. Uh, how, how do I describe this dryness to you? I got the uh, chance to smell an alternate of um, LDDM. Uh, that's by Tower Perfumes. It has that dryness to it. When you smell it, you feel that dryness in the air that reminds you of a desert. That is uh, what Timber Silk has in it. It has a slight dryness compared to ISO E Super. And um, if we talk about ISO Gamma Super, honestly, I cannot comment anything about ISO Gamma Super because I have never used it. I don't know whether I will be able to use it in the coming few years because it is a captive. Geza Shon has the exclusive rights to use ISO Gamma Super. As of today is what I understand. Maybe it can change. But what I have with me that I use a lot is ISO G13 Super, this one. And I have called it as Rumor. What Rumor has is 13% Gamma Isomer. So obviously a, almost 60-65% more than the uh, normal ISO is Super. It has a very nice cedar wood vibe to it. It lingers around and uh, it's not offensive at all. It is, it's as I mentioned, uh, I don't know if it's uh, mentioned or not, but it it's a very nice warm blanket wala uh, smell you know it's nice it's 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 not harsh no one i don't think anyone will ever be put off by the smell of iso e super and uh, as i mentioned before citrus frags a lot of members of the fragrance community have tested and tried and they stand by the fact that it increases the projection and longevity of underperforming flags. But there is one sad thing about ISO E Super. Like how I cannot smell Ambroxan, a lot of people can't smell ISO E Super. I can smell ISO E Super. So there are multiple materials like ISO E Super, Ambroxan, Ambrofix, Cetalox. They're all, again, these three names that I mentioned, they're again different versions of Ambroxan and uh, these raw materials are uh, very unique in the way that many people can smell it and many people can't. I can smell ISI Super, I can't smell Ambroxan. I have a fellow friend who can smell Ambroxan and can smell ISI Super and I'm jealous of him because I want to work with Ambroxan but well I can't smell it so that's an issue. So if you're planning to buy rumor, you need to know that uh, there is a slight chance that you might not be able to smell it. But that does not mean that you will never be able to smell it. Keep using the material and your nose will get adjusted to it and you will get the smell sooner or later. That is what I've been doing with Ambroxan. I've been trying to use it like every week once or something like that so that I can develop the smell for it. Now coming to the new launch. The first thing that we already had was Rumor. Rumor had, uh, Rumor has 13% of gamma isomers. It has a very slight cedar wood feel and touch to it. It increases the projection and longevity of the citrus based frags. Now what we are launching new is called the Rumor X. X is for extreme. I am going to be putting X on any release that I feel is extreme. We have approximately 25%, yes, 25% gamma isomers. And the um, vibe or the scent profile of Rumor X is again, it has cedar wood, but has a very interesting incense profile to it. And it projects more than uh, rumor. But obviously for people who find incense to be a little, uh, how do I say, daring scent, they might or might not like this, I'm not really sure. Uh, 
but it is a wonderful layering beast layer with your citrus woody uh, oriental technically almost all frags and it just blows the ball out of the park now we talk as i mentioned almost any frag especially if it's an oriental or you have spices in it or if you have incense in it and you like the incense vibe this is wonderful um quick tip about rumorex i tried a particular rose based fragrance uh, by that was sent to me by a fellow perfumer a uh, fellow perfume lover and uh, i layered it with rumorex and i enjoyed the rose and incense vibe it was it was beautiful so rumor x is the new launch rumor is what we already have this is what it looks like and as i mentioned here that it is oops too much light i say super and we will uh, we are launching uh, rumor x today and we will be shipping it out in a couple of days so that was the whole video about isoe super i really hope that um, it was informative and you enjoyed it and uh, yeah rumor is there rumor x is launched you can always go ahead and buy them uh, thank you guys for staying for such a long video who or stayed back and uh, i really appreciate it do like share or share your questions also about uh, anything that you would want to ask uh, in the comments below like share subscribe as usual and uh, thank you very much